dear children let us begin our class by asking the grace of god the almighty today we are going to learn new chapter chapter 12 area related to circuit page number 223 page number 223 chapter 12 area related to a circuit area related to a circuit when you see when you listen the word circuit the most important thing that how to come to our mind is the surface circumference and the area of the circuit this is not a new things for you because we have learned from very smaller classes circumference and area of the circuit let us see what is the circumference of the circuit and what is area of the circuit now everybody knows from a point if you are putting a point blunt uh, uh, putting points at an equal distance from a point then you will get a circuit putting from a point equal distance putting point Playground. We need to find out 
the perimeter or if you want to level if you want to plow if you want to plow using the tractor or any other mechanism then we need to find out the area leveling the ground so plowing the ground in that particular case we need to find out the area fencing that means we need to if you want to fence the circle the circular farm or circular playground so that case you need to find out the perimeter so that the length of the circle or circumference of the circle so the area means inside the ring inside the ring inside the portion area that is called as area so that is the difference and here the formula is pi r squared pi r squared and generally the students make big mistake make about these two uh, formulas if uh, the formula of circumference or perimeter is asked then write they will write pi r squared then if the formula of area asked then they will write 2 pi r so this kind of mistake that every time so you have to be more confident the perimeter circumference is 2 pi r that is length remember the circumference is the length of the circle the perimeter of the circle so there you can see 2 pi r only one r in the 2 pi r here area usually area the unit is square centimeter square unit of area from the smaller classes we used to learn the unit of area square centimeter square meter square kilometer so here you can see the square pi r square so from these two you recognize it so you can easily recognize here r that is length radius only one r is there so that is representing the length okay length and here area is equal to pi r square okay so don't uh, you know misplace these two formulas perimeter and the uh, area so today onwards remember the perimeter of the circle is 2 pi r and uh, area of the circle is pi r squared area of the circle is pi r squared now there is a relation between the circumference and the diameter what is the relation the circumference of the circle bears a constant ratio with its diameter you can see you can see this is page number 224 please take page number 224 and third line so i have written here it's not compulsory but if you have this book you cross check you cross check it whether we are going or we are whether we are moving according to the yeah, our test book so i request please open it page number please take page number 220 it is written the area the circumference of the circle bears a constant ratio with the diameter so it is clear that the ratio between circumference and diameter and that is a constant constant and it is denoted by pi it is denoted by pi 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 and you can simply you can write uh, how to write 11 and one bar on the top then it become pi right 11 pi symbol right 11 Then put a top bar on that top, top of that level, and this become pi. Pi. You can read as a pi. Pi pi. You know that pi. Okay. So now what is the pi? This is a constant. This is a pi is a constant. The constant. What is the relation? The relation between circumference and the diameter. If you construct a small or big circle. You can construct a small circle, or you can construct a big circle. Then this pi is always constant. Pi is always constant. You can write. You can construct a two centimeter circle, 
or you can construct a tension diameter circle. Then always the circumference and when you divide circumference with the diameter, then you will get the same one, that constant. That is why that is the percentage point. Check out, uh, check, check out. You can check out. You can construct a 2 cm circle or you can construct a 10 cm circle. Then you find out the relation. Circumference divided by diameter. You find out this relation. And this relation is always a constant. That constant is representing by the letter pi. Clear? Now. Now, again, how this 2 pi are? We are already interested that the formula to be that is now from this circumference by diameter equal to pi you can see you can write underneath the pi there is one denominator so one into circumference that is circumference equal to diameter into pi that is pi into diameter diameter means two times radius that means pi into pi into that is pi into two r Diameter equal to 2 times radius. So you can you will get a 2 pi r. 2 r into pi that is 2 pi r. Okay. So the circumference diameter that is constant. The relation between circumference and the diameter. Whether it is small circle or large circle. This is always a constant. That constant is representing by pi. Now here, cross multiply. Suppose pi you can have one denominator unknown denominator 1 so the circumference to 1 that is circumference equal to diameter into pi that is pi into diameter means 2 r 2 times radius so pi into 2 r that is equal that they can uh, divide the relation in the formula circumference equal to 2 pi uh, correct it is very important now here you can see the value of pi value of pi yeah value of you all are knowing this one. You know this one, the value of pi. I know. <laughs> so, value of pi equal to 22 divided by 7 or 3.14. What is the rule? Which one do you need to take? 22 divided by 7 or 3.14? Okay. Always, always we take pi equal to 27 and less than until it is stated 3.14. It is sometimes the question itself, bracket, it's it's given take pi equal to 3.14. So that particular case, you take 3.14. Otherwise, otherwise, always take pi value of pi equal to 22 divided by 7. So that is the rule. Okay. So always you remember the value of pi equal to 22 divided by 7. Some Rare cases or some special cases in the question itself, you can see uh, bracket it is given take pi equal to 3.14. That in particular, in that particular case, in that particular pro problem, so you need, need to take the value pi equal to 3.14. Otherwise, always take pi equal to 22 divided by 7. Okay, so these are, are the important things. So now, Today you remember these two formulas. One is two formulas. One is the circumference of the circle that is 2 pi r and that in another circle is area of the circle is pi r squared. Now, dear students, take a rough book and write it. Circumference of the circle 2 pi r. Circumference of the circle 2 pi r and area of the circle pi r squared. Area of the circle pi r squared. Read. Read repeatedly. Write 10 times or 15 times as much use as much as you need. You know, some students are very brilliant, so some are weak. So they need more practice, they need to write more times. So it just depends upon you. I am not forcing everybody to write 10 times or 25 times or 100 times. You know, so it just depends upon you whether to write 10 times or 15 times. It is up to you. But the formula is very important. Okay, so these two simple formula. We are beginning, beginning this chapter, beginning this chapter, new chapter with the two simple formula. One is the circumference of the circle that is 2 pi r, 
another one is the area of the circle pi r square. So let, let us do one example. That is example one, page number. You can see that example on page number two hundred and twenty-five. You can see on page number two hundred and twenty-five. The question is not written here. Please answer. You can see. Please read the question. I will read the question again. So you can also read this question. The cost of fencing a field at the rate of rupees twenty-four per meter is rupees five thousand two hundred eighty. The field is to be plowed at the rate of zero point five zero per square meter. Find the cost of plowing the field. Now take pi equal to twenty two divided by seven. The question itself given take pi equal to. I have told you now. It is something. You will get the value. You know, if the clue is uh, will be given in the bracket. But here, if clue is same itself, pi equal to twenty two divided by seven. If clue is not there, then also you take twenty uh, two divided by seven. Otherwise, three point one. Okay. Now here only it is mentioned that take pi equal to twenty two divided by seven. Now, if this you know uh, you need to um, read between these lines and uh, try to understand the story. You need to understand the story. The cost of fencing a circular a circular field. Fencing. I have told you fencing. Fencing means uh, boundary boundary wall. Boundary wall. Either you can make with uh, wires or you can uh, make with bricks. Okay. Here it is fencing. Uh, making boundary walls of circular field. The shape of that field. Wow. And a field. It says it's circular shape, and at the rate rupees twenty four per meter is five thousand two hundred and eighty. Total cost is given, and uh, per the cost of per meter is given. The field is to be plowed at the rate of zero point five zero. That is fifty paise per square meter. Zero rupees zero point five zero means fifty paise per square meter. Find the cost of plowing the field. Plowing, I told you, you know. Putting a special kind of instrument behind this tractor, and you know, head, जो काम कर रहा है ना, field, head, head, है ना, plowing, जमीन खड़ रहे हैं ना, in order to grow uh, new plants, you know, during the rainy season, the the farmers will plow the ground and making uh, making the field, leveling the field, so. Plowing. So, for we we need to find out the area. We need to find out the area. Now, certain clues are given. Now, the total cost fencing cost is given, and the per uh, square meter cost is given. So, from that we need to find out the circumference, the total length of the circle. That means the circumference. Indirect question is given. Direct circumference is not given. Fencing, the total cost of fencing is given, and uh, the cost per square meter, square per meter is given, not square meter per meter is given. Then first of all, we need to find out the uh, perimeter. That is two pi r. From two pi r, we need to find out radius. Radius is not given. So then, once we get the radius, we can find out the area. That is. Pi r squared. Then the total cost is the total area multiplied with the zero point five zero pi se. The total cost of the total flowing cost. If you want to find out the total flowing cost, you multiply with the zero point. Okay. Now let us. Here you can start the answer here. You can start answer from here. Total length. How to find out the length of the? You need to find out the length of the fence. Total length. You need to find out the total length. That is. The total cost divided by rate, and what will be our total cost? Five thousand two hundred eighty divided by twenty-four. We can divide here. We can divide here. Five thousand two hundred eighty divided by twenty-four. Two sir forty-eight. Four forty-eight. Two sir forty and minus zero and zero. So two hundred twenty. Two hundred twenty. Correct. Two hundred and twenty. That is the two hundred and twenty meters. The total length. That means total length is that is our circumference. The total length of the field means that is our 